Now on Coast TV News. The State of the Union, President Biden addressing the nation tonight. We're going to look at his major talking points. The tests are about to turn down, Paul. And we're looking at the uh, opportunity for some flooding in our neck of the woods from in the early morning hours. Shooting arrest, a man now in custody after gunshots were fired near Sussex Central following a basketball game last week. And BB's strategic shift, the health care provider looking to strengthen their financial stability. Silver, save Silver Lake, a community worried that their lake is under threat, how they are going about raising awareness. This is Coast TV News at 11. Walking into the House, President Biden making his entrance ahead of the State of the Union that some view as a kickoff to the 2024 presidential campaign. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Mallory Metzner has the night off. Welcome to our news at 11, a little later than 11 tonight. And we do begin with the State of the Union address. We're going to be taking a live look at the Capitol building here as we head into this story. We're going to see what they had to say this evening. We're going to get right to that with NBC reporter Alice Barr. The President of the United States. President Biden addressing the nation tonight in one of the most important speeches of his political life. I came to office determined to get us through one of the toughest periods in the nation's history. We have. The president using his third State of the Union to tout his accomplishments. 15 million new jobs in just three years. A record. A record. The president vowing to fight for reproductive rights. If you, if you the American people, send me a Congress that supports the right to choose, I promise you, I'll restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land again. As protesters gathered outside over his handling of the Israel-Hamas war, inside the chamber, President Biden addressed both family members of Israeli hostages and lawmakers from his own party outraged about the suffering in Gaza. I'm directing the U.S. military to lead an emergency mission to establish a temporary pier in the Mediterranean on the coast of Gaza. With the new Republican House Speaker sitting behind him, the president pressing House GOP members to pass aid for Ukraine, as well as funding for Israel and the U.S. southern border. Send me a bipartisan national security bill. History is literally watching. Former President Trump using his social media platform to rebut tonight's speech. We cannot take it any longer as a country. With the 2024 general election now underway, President Biden seizing the moment as both commander in chief and candidate. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Sticking with politics just a little longer here and new tonight, former governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan, who's currently running for the Senate as a Republican in the state of Maryland. Well, today he made his opinion on the presidential race clear. Hogan told the outlet Axios that he's not going to be voting for former President Trump or President Biden, saying, quote, I'm like 70 percent of the rest of people in America who do not want Joe Biden or Trump to be president. And now let's go ahead and take a live look outside right now as we take a gander into Ocean City. We need to check in with our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams. Paul. And as you're checking in, Charlie, I'm going to go ahead and check out from uh, dealing with any rain, at least for right now. But there's going to be uh, that check's going to bounce by the time we get to Saturday because, yeah, we have more rain on the way. So courtesy of our uh, our um, Irish eyes. I don't have my glasses on, guys, so. <laughs> Sorry, our Irish eyes camera in Lewis at 50 degrees uh, and uh, temperatures are going to drop into the 40s for the rest of the night. We'll drop to 47 by 2 o'clock and 45 degrees by 3 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. We change our gears while our Spicer brother camera in Salisbury, it's 53 degrees. The winds are right now calm out of the north and temperatures are going to fall into the mid 40s by 3 o'clock there with partly cloudy skies. We do have a small craft advisory, but the big deal is the newly issued coastal flood advisory, which kicks in at 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning and won't expire until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then we'll start talking about the rain, Charlie. Thank you. And for more weather updates, make sure to pull out that phone right now. You can use this QR code that you're looking at for the first alert weather app. You can down the app, uh, download the app and get it for free. It's got all the weather updates you need. 
Meanwhile, moving on, BB Healthcare announced that they are going to be getting some outside help this year. Uh, they've looked at two new companies. One is going to help BB's supply chain and the other its financials. But despite the outside help, BB says they're not in any financial trouble. It's not going anywhere. Coast TV's Charles Reinert shows us why BB says this is something that's, you know, they're not losing money, but they could make more. I'm going to be frank with you. This is a pretty complicated issue, but at the heart of it all, BB says this is just the healthcare provider getting with the times. According to BB CEO Dr. David Tam, one of the big reasons for these outside financial help is simply insurance companies. He says the way hospitals like BB get paid are getting more and more complex through things like artificial intelligence, for example. Tam says this partnership will help make sure BB gets the money they're owed for treating its patients. As for supply chain, Dr. Tam says its new partnership with another firm will let the hospital streamline how it stores and moves all of its medical supplies from surgical gloves to bandages. Tam says that in turn will help BB make sure none of its equipment is expired and as such, they don't waste any money just throwing it away. Dr. Tam says the goal isn't just financial, it's also about efficiency. It will allow BB Healthcare to continue to grow services throughout the county in places like Millsboro and Millville and Rehoboth, where we already have campuses, so that it will be easier for that patient to access care without having to travel farther or go to different places at different times. As for you at home or I, BB says patients likely won't even notice any differences with their care during these transitions. These new partnerships are expected to be implemented in the coming months. I'm Charles Reinhardt and Lois, Coast TV News. So what does this mean for the actual employees at BB? That's the big question. BB says that revenue cycle department, that's going to transition and become part of something called ensemble. It says that the supply chain employees, they're going to have a similar move to a premier team. BB says nobody is losing their jobs. They're not going to have to reapply or move. But in an email to staff, and you just saw Dr. Tam there, he said that they recognize changes like these can be difficult decisions. They're not made lightly. So again, the question for all of this is why? Well, BB says it's not in financial trouble, but they say they are looking to get a little bit stronger. And here is an update from a scary story that happened earlier this week. Uh, actually, a week ago, troopers have arrested 19-year-old Gerard Sturgis after sh a shooting at Sussex Central. It was right after a basketball game. Now, an important note here is that nobody was hurt during the shooting. According to police, an investigation found that a 15-year-old had shot at a car with Sturgis helping him escape. They say another nearby school was also hit with bullets. Sturgis is now in jail facing charges relating to that shooting. And how about this? A credible threat was made towards the Milford School District today, and that caused the district to initiate a lockdown this afternoon. According to the district, Milford police called in to assess the situation. They found that students from the elementary school, well, they were safe, so they were allowed to go back home when scheduled. They also went back to normal. Then the older kids they had to wait a little bit longer before they were released. The district says all activities for after school, that includes tomorrow, those are canceled. The police and the school are, school leaders are looking at exactly what happened. Silver Lake, a gorgeous little spot between Dewey and Rehoboth Beach, is one of Delaware's natural treasures. According to the state records, Silver Lake is one of the closest freshwater lakes in proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. Locals say somebody who owns a piece of property on the lake is threatening the well-being of the area by dumping soil next to the lake and ruining the habitat. According to the county councilman, Mark Schaefer, the county actually issued a stop work violation to that property owner to prevent any further dumping, but a petition has already been created to draw more attention to the need in order to help the lake. In addition to the petition, one local created drone footage to show just how the lake has changed over time. It's really holding people accountable for what we all love about the area, and that is the wildlife and the nature. People don't go to the beaches just for the food. They go for the nature, and without that, the whole Delaware area, the Sussex County, will be much less of a place to be. 
In a statement to Coast TV, Denrec has said that it's investigated the site on a number of occasions and confirmed that there are no violations right now. The department says their ongoing activities at Silver Lake are not within the department's actual jurisdiction. Coast TV also reached out to the property owner, but we have not heard back. And of course, we do want to let you know there's a really great way to follow more of Coast TV. It's our Facebook page. You can pull out your phone, get that QR code, or you can go to facebook.com slash Coast TV NBC. It's a great way to stay connected with us. And if you want to stay informed, we have more news still to come just for you folks at home. Multiplying good and hopefully multiplying scores. A bit of bowling in Lewis tonight that could help make a difference. And it looks like some rain and down the road could make a difference in whether we stay under this advisory dealing with flooding. We'll have your full forecast coming up. And over the counter birth control, the legislative moves being made in Dover to make sure that insurance companies in the first state cover this medication. We're going to be back in 60 seconds. Turn your vision into a reality with Capstone Homes Design Center, bringing personalization, luxury, and quality all into one location, where you'll meet with our certified design consultant that'll show you exactly what you're choosing, so you can make the best choice for you when designing your new home. From first home to vacation houses, we build and design homes for everyone. Set up your appointment now and design your dream home today at Capstone Homes. When homeowners think of a kitchen remodel, they picture their house in chaos for months, eating out every night, and of course, a big invoice. With Paul Davis, we have an easy kitchen remodel solution for a fraction of the cost. Our certified installers add five layers of hardwood over your cabinets with new doors and drawers to match. And it's done in as little as three days. Save big three ways. Get last year's pricing, pay nothing until 2025, and get 1,000 off your kitchen remodel, but only through March 31st. Call Paul Davis for a free estimate. This the is Coast ever, TV News at 11. The first ever FDA approved over the counter birth control pill is now becoming available. It's called O pill. And in, De in Dover, some legislators are working to make sure that insurance companies here in the state of Delaware have to actually cover this pill. For a little more on that, we have a report from Tim Furlong. Delaware State Senator Kyle Evans Gay sees the news stories about rollbacks of women's health care rights in some parts of the country. I think when it comes to reproductive health care, we know it's always going to be a flashpoint in politics. But with opil birth control now coming to pharmacies, she's hoping to turn this bill into a law that will protect women in Delaware who decide to use it, and it will require most private insurance companies to cover it without patient copays, just as they do for doctor prescribed birth control. Over the counter coverage requirements have generally been left for states to decide, and this bill would make the decision for Delaware. In our code, our state code, in some other state codes, it's not clear that coverage should extend even if it's provided over the counter. So we want to clear up any potential loopholes that could lead to a disruption of individuals having their medication or a barrier for individuals trying to get their medication over the counter. I'm told eight other states, including Maryland and New Jersey, already have laws like the one now being proposed for Delaware. Delaware's largest health care system is also pushing for this as a way to benefit the women they serve in the state. The FDA has been innovative. Delaware has followed suit. But we want to make sure that we're not forgetting that patients need help and need support from their insurance paying for those medications. There's no minimum age to get opil, but you will have to get it from a pharmacist. It isn't just sitting on shelves like aspirin. It's also a good idea to discuss it with your doctor to make sure it's the right product for you. If it is the best option and you live in Delaware, this bill would make sure insurance companies cover it. Now for a little fun, we're going to talk about bowling. People were doing it tonight for a good cause just off of Route 1 at Lefties. It was for the Multiplying Good program, a student in action program in Lewis. The goal is to help kids find issues that they're passionate about and give them tools to help increase the need through service projects. Tonight's students were from Sussex Tech and organizers say the support means everything to these young leaders. They get to be, find things that they're passionate about and make a difference. For example, they collect the diapers for Dappy. We make corn mats for the homeless and just other projects that they feel the community needs and they want to make a difference with. Uh, be able to support and highlight individuals that do a lot of great things in the community. Uh, a lot of times it goes unnoticed 
and this is a way for us to be able to highlight it. This was the first time for good fundraiser, but they said they plan to make it early. All right, so we take a look at where we are right now, courtesy of our Bay Health camera in Milford. We're at 52 degrees at this present time. Now, as far as where we're going to end up for the rest of the night, we're going to drop into the mid-40s by 3 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. Now, although we've had our fair share of cloud cover and rain, that's going to dissipate, at least give us a breather for at least a night. We still have the concern for the very gusty winds along the coast, but the big story is going to be the... Coastal flood advisory that's active for Sussex and Kent stays in effect until 10 o'clock in the morning, starts at 4 o'clock in the morning. Then we're bracing for 24 mile per hour winds along the entire coastline. That's going to be basically the rule of the day for Friday going into Saturday early in the morning. And then we have another low pressure system that's developing and the storm system that's developing in the heart of uh, North Carolina that's going to eventually swing in our direction. We've had minimal amount of rain since midnight, okay? We had lots of rain yesterday, up to two and a half inches or more in some areas. But for today, starting at midnight, when we clock this now, uh, that's when it begins to kind of go down. We're at 52 degrees in Milton as well as Millsboro, Milford, and we're at 52 degrees also in Seaford at this present time. Keep in mind that we anticipate that the winds are going to continue to push out of the north for us for Friday morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, by the way, and sit 42 degrees. Not much of a difference from the morning versus here in the afternoon. I mean, we'll have more sunshine, but it won't be much warmer. We're only going to go from 42 to up to maybe 50. That's about as warm as we're going to get tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll have the winds pushing out of the east for Saturday. That's going to enhance our moisture profile, so to speak. Kind of like adding more water to a sponge and making it really saturated so that Mother Nature will squeeze out some scattered showers by the time we get to Saturday afternoon, particularly around 3.30, where we're looking for widespread, steady showers continuously and then popping in with heavier downpours throughout the night. Sunday morning, we start off chilly, sunny, and temperatures in the mid-40s. Here's a look at our expectation for our three-day beach forecast. Uh, we're looking at scattered showers on Saturday. It's going to be a little breezy on Sunday, but much more windier on Monday. A bit breezy for us in Ocean City. They're going to pick up some momentum here, about 40 mile per hour winds there. And then for Lewis and for Rehoboth, we're looking at scattered showers on Saturday, mainly in the afternoon going into the evening. So if you, by hint to my friend and my co-anchor, Charlie, want to go out and golf, just get the earliest tight tea time that you can, okay? And don't even try it on Sunday. It's too windy. You're not that good. All right, here we go. Well, you might be. I just don't think you are. But anyway, 40 degrees, clearing out and cooling off. 52 for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies and a nice chilly breeze. Weekend rain, remember? Set your golf time or tea time early because in the afternoon, this hits and it keeps on hitting for the rest of the day. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling extended forecast. We are calling for a yellow alert day because that afternoon, evening rain on Saturday is going to stick around. Not that good. I don't get these bogeys for nothing. Doing more for Delaware Causes, how you can help over the next 24 hours. But next, celebrating the silver screen, Ocean City hosting its 8th annual film festival. It starts with our oldest family tradition. Artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce. But don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Pulling up to a great looking home is nice. Curb appeal is important. But here on the coast, even more important is dock appeal. At TNG Builders, if you can dream it, we can create it. For uncompromising quality, contact TNG Builders to design and build your coastal dream home. Over 30 years of integrity, empathy, and love. TNG Builders, the sign of quality. Visit us online at tg builders.com. At Delmarva Canine, a trained dog is a happy dog, and that means a happier home. With 25 years of experience training police dogs, service dogs, and pets, we've gained the trust of families across the country. Our team of certified trainers create custom programs ensuring we can show you a more confident and polite side of your pet, regardless of the breed or temperament. Call today and schedule your free evaluation to see why Delmarva Canine is all about the love of the dog. Homewell's mission is to bring joy, companionship, and a helping hand into the lives of those we serve. Become a Homewell hero today. I'm a Homewell hero because I transform routine care into meaningful connections. Offering full benefits, weekly pay, holiday pay, and PTO.
As a Homewell hero, I'm rewarded for my hard work. Our mentor program gives you help on the job, teaching you to be a problem solver. Join us at HomewellCares.com and be the hero that someone needs today. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Grab your popcorn, and if you're like me, you're probably going to get a little butter on that popcorn as well, because we're going to the Ocean City's 8th Film Festival. More than 400 submissions were made this year. Over 100 of those were actually selected for the film festival. And out of that, more than 146 of the films made in Maryland. Jackie Ball is looking forward to her one-day pass, which is going to let her see every film shown on that day. Every year I've tried to do something with the film festival, but this is the first time um, I'm actually getting a pass. The 8th Annual Ocean City Film Festival is happening for the next three days. You can get three-day passes or you can do those one-day passes as well. Right now, as we speak, nonprofits across the first state are racing to raise as much cash as they possibly can in a 24-hour time frame. Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner shows us why people want to do more for these Delaware organizations. Do More 24 is known as Delaware's largest day of giving. From local students to musicians, there are nearly 500 causes you can support right here in Sussex County. Some groups we spoke with are looking to raise donations to help children right now all the way through their careers as adults. Ashlyn Horton is a college student majoring in accounting. She credits this nonprofit for her pathway to success. Its programs keep high school students on track to graduate and start a career or go to college. I had somebody to go to. I had um, somebody who was real with me, somebody who could lead me when I felt like I just didn't know what was going on. And she gives back what she was given. Horton Hope's Pathways will achieve its $10,000 goal for the Do More 24 Delaware fundraiser. It's a similar sentiment at the Children's Beach House. It's our job not to try to think about kids as vessels that should be filled with knowledge, but instead fires that can be lit. And if we light those individual fires, we're going to have kids becoming who they are and who they're meant to be. This group wants to raise $7,000 to send the teens in its youth development program to Washington, D.C. to tour museums and colleges. I don't think there's anything more gratifying than seeing a child's eyes light up for the first time when they realize that something is possible that they hadn't seen before. The show must go on for the Southern Delaware Orchestra. Their fundraiser keeps a steady rhythm by paying for sheet music and concert venues. The Delaware Center for the Inland Bays is trading donations for passports that people can fill out for a chance to win prizes all month long. From the farmer's market to the food bank, fundraisers are fueling first state causes in 24 hours. The clock is ticking. You have until Friday at 6 p.m. to donate during Do More 24. We have a link to all of the causes involved on CoastTV.com. And this brings us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know which of the no local nonprofit causes is most important to you. This has been the leader all day long. We talked about it earlier tonight with Maddie. Animals, they are well out in front. 23% going to environmental protection as well. Youth programs, 13%. Community arts, 5%. Housing at 8%. You can go vote at CoastTV.com or use our Coast TV mobile app. And still coming up this evening in sports, basketball, basketball, and then a little more basketball. The Route 13 rivalry on the women's side and Dover looking to advance to the biggest stage. And next, underdiagnosed endometriosis. Millions of people have it. Many don't know that they have it, but its causes have some serious complications. Any slow zipper knows you'll enjoy your drink from McDonald's longer than anyone else. Conquer your cravings with a $1.49 any size lemonade or sweet tea with our classic fries. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Winsateek of Falmouth Island offers over 100 different teak tables. 
over 24 different extension tables featuring self-storing leaves. They come in two different heights, dining and counter, plus two different widths and two different shapes, oval and rectangular. Extension tables start at 66 inches long and go up to 138 inches long and can seat from 6 to 16 people. Plus, over 36 different folding tables. Our drop leaf folding tables can be used with one or two leaves up. When both leaves are folded down, you can store the tables into seven inches of space. The drop leaf tables come in three different heights, dining, counter, and bar, and come in four different shapes, oval, round, rectangular, and square. Don't forget to check out the non-folding tables, coffee and side tables, and buffet tables. Drop by our showroom and smell the teak. Or visit our website at windsorteakfurniture.com and remember, tea glass a lifetime. Transform your bathroom into a haven of luxury with Baths by Spicer Brothers. Call today for your free consultation. We'll work around your hectic schedule with evening, Saturday, and even same-day appointments available. And right now, receive 50% off installation, a free shower door upgrade, and a free deluxe shower head. Plus, enjoy your new shower now and pay later with no interest and no payments for 18 months. With Bath by Spicer Brothers, quality is our promise and your satisfaction is our guarantee. So before you sign, keep Bath by Spicer Brothers in mind. When you play the Maryland Lottery, please play responsibly. That means remember to spend within your limits, never borrow money to play, and know your odds of winning. To get more tips, scan the QR code or visit mdlottery.com slash play responsibly. Must be 18 years or older to play. We're almost to the weekend, and tomorrow at 4 on Coast Life, we're discovering the essential differences between cosmetic and reconstructive procedures. Then we kick off your weekend with Fitness Friday, boosting your routine with extra tips. Catch Coast Life tomorrow at 4 on Coast TV. The hot, crispy filet of fish. You either love it or you haven't tried it yet. Catch the classic you love. Two flaky wild caught filet of fish sandwiches for just $6. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It affects about 5 million people in the United States. Endometriosis can cause severe pain, it can actually lead to infertility problems, and some people don't even know they have it. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither talks about some of the things to look out for when it comes to endometriosis and explains why for some, it's really underdiagnosed. It's been called the missed disease because many women may not even know they have it. Endometriosis does impact one in 10 women. We do think that it probably impacts more women than that. Dr. Megan Billow with Cleveland Clinic says endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows where it shouldn't, like the abdomen and pelvic area. Symptoms include painful periods, abdominal or back pain during your period, pain during sex, heavy periods, spotting between periods, infertility, and painful bowel movements. The reason it's underdiagnosed and can take up to seven to 10 years from the initial onset of symptoms to diagnosis is because the clinical symptoms do overlap with many other types of conditions. Billow says the other problem is there's no blood test or biomarker that can detect the condition. But endometriosis does require laparoscopy or an invasive procedure to truly diagnose the disease. However, we are really working on non-invasive options to diagnose endometriosis, including ultrasound and MRI. There's no known cause for endometriosis and no cure, but Billow says a diagnosis allows doctors to treat symptoms. The best type of management is typically using a combination of medications and surgery to not only diagnose, optimize treatment, and control symptoms. For Health Minute, I'm Andy Gaither. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good evening, sports fans. After dropping the last two, the University of Maryland Eastern Shore women's team is looking to bounce back to the win column. And Delaware State University looks to get revenge after dropping this matchup in the first meeting. Let's see how it all went down at the Heights Center. It started off with head coach Fred Batchelor being honored for 20 years at the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The head coach of the women's basketball team is looking to have a winning season for the first time in five years. That'll be put to the test tonight against Dell State. Hawks start off on a 6-0 run, then a little bit of high-low action. Deontay Thompson 
gets the finish for the Hornets. Later in the first, Hawks up by four. Rock goes to Zamara Haynes. Pull up jumper. It's good. 15 to nine. Hornets in transition. Kiara Meckelrath knocks it down from Triple Town. Dell State down by just three. But the Hawks were just too much tonight as they finish the season in the win column with a 73-63 victory over Dell State. To high school basketball, the Dover Senators are headed to the DIAA State Championship with a 59-53 win over Middletown. Congratulations to the Senators as they get ready for the state championship on Saturday. That all for sports. Have a great night, everybody. Let the steam rise like the majestic Mount Fuji. Unveiling a new ramen restaurant in Salisbury. The Fuji Ramen House is an adventure with each tantalizing bite. Enjoy your experience in a cozy Japanese-themed setting and indulge in mouth-watering appetizers, rice bowls, curry, and of course, our ramen. Handcrafted noodles simmering in a delicious broth with your choice of toppings. Elevate your taste to new heights and savor the umami flavors of authentic ramen at Fuji Ramen House, located behind East Moon. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Hmm. Imagine all the slopes you'll conquer. Sick. Imagine all the sights you'll see. Wow. Whoa. OK, how about you imagine dropping me off? <laughs> <laughs> right now, get a full-size Tundra with 1.99% APR or take up to 1,000 cash back from Toyota. Or check out an all-new redesigned Tacoma. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Your roof is the first line of defense against the elements, but is ready for the next storm? If it's time for a new roof, call Hershey Exteriors. As a GAF Master Elite contractor, we offer the industry's best warranty. Our roofs come with a Golden Pledge 50-year warranty on materials and a 25-year workmanship warranty that is backed by GAF. Call Hershey Exteriors, your trusted roofing pros, and get 0% financing for 12 months because life is sweeter with Hershey Exteriors. Some people will stop at nothing to get your stuff. Get solid security and protect yourself from theft, fire, and accidents with American-made Rhino at Southern States in Milford. Experience peace of mind with financing available when you buy local from the only Rhino dealer on Delmarva. They'll deliver and set it up for you, too. Ask about Rhino's Thank You For Your Service rebate program. Protect your stuff with Rhino. Everything else is just storage. Securing Delmarva one safe at a time. Southern States of Milford. At East Coast Campers and More, we believe that having a camper is about enjoying the adventure, time with the family, and your escape to nature. From the buying journey to seamless setup, we've got you covered. Walking you through every step, making sure you're spending the most time enjoying what's out there. If you need us after setting up, our mobile RV medics will come to you providing the highest quality of services and repairs. Come start your adventure in Frankfort, Delaware at East Coast Campers and More. Our winner for tonight is David Carner of Rehoboth Beach. Congratulations, courtesy of Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling. Now, by the way, if you want to get your forecast, it's a phone call away. Call our number at 443-880-9100. And it's sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandelis, Brockstead, and Federico. All right, so here's where we are right now with our Orsted camera in Western OC. We're at 50 degrees with the dew point of 45. Uh, we're going to drop to 48 degrees by 2 o'clock with partly cloudy skies and dropping down to 46 by 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, we are clear for now, but we still have this green here indicating that we have a coastal flood advisory that goes into effect at 4 o'clock in the morning and expires at 10 o'clock in the morning, coinciding with the high tides because inundation, possibly a foot in some areas. Here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration exclusive 10-day forecast. Friday, scattered clouds, a yellow alert day on Saturday because the rain kicks in in the afternoon and evening. Thank you, Paul. We really do appreciate that. And thank you at home for staying with us here this evening on Coast TV News at 11. Remember, you can always download our Coast TV News app to get more information and stay up to date. Coming up right after this is going to be Jimmy Fallon. Don't want to miss that at all. Have yourselves a great evening, and we're going to see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m.